So I'm here at CES and I just got hands on with two brand new Galaxy phones from Samsung, but they're weird. It's the Galaxy S10 Lite and the Galaxy Note 10 Lite, and they're something completely different for Samsung. So usually for Samsung, the S line and the Note line are their very high-end premium phones, and they take their low-end phones and call them a something or other, but this is different. It is a relatively low-end phone, but with the premium branding. It's also strange because Samsung literally just announced the next Unpacked event, where it's going to announce the Galaxy S11 or maybe the S20. The rumors are really weird right now. And they're also going to probably announce their folding clamshell phone. So that's really exciting, and it sort of took the wind out of the announcement for these light phones. But let's talk about them anyway. So the specs in these things are relatively uninspiring. It starts with the screen. They're both 6.7 inches, but they're only 2400 by 1080p resolution, which isn't that much, but that makes them big, cheap Android phones. And you might think Samsung already makes a cheap Android phone under the Galaxy line, the S10e, but it's relatively small and Samsung needs to make big phones that don't cost much because that's really what people want. So that's one reason these phones are kind of weird. But the other reason is the cameras and like, what is going on here? They're different on both phones. Let's start with the Galaxy S10 Lite. It has a five megapixel macro camera. That's cool. It also has a standard ultra wide 12 megapixel camera. We like ultra wide, that's cool. It has a selfie camera that is 32 megapixels. Okay. But then the main sensor is a 48 megapixel sensor with super steady OIS. And that's a first for Samsung, which doesn't make sense, except when they had Super Steady before that just applied to video, and now it applies to also photos and it might be built into the hardware. So completely new, completely different camera system for Samsung. Why that got introduced on the S10 Lite is beyond me. And then you get to the Note 10 Lite and it has a completely different set of cameras. It doesn't have a macro lens and it doesn't have the Super Steady OIS. So like, what is going on? All right, so why are these Galaxy phones? Yeah, I know that low-end phones are also called Galaxy. What I meant here was S and Note. I'm an idiot. I mean, Samsung also announced the A71, which spec-wise really isn't that different from these phones. Well, one reason I think is the processor. The Galaxy S10 Lite has a Snapdragon 855, which is right now one of the best you can get. And the Galaxy Note 10 Lite has a pretty good Exynos processor in it. Honestly though, I think the reason that these are Galaxy phones, yeah. Got it wrong here too, sorry. Just people like the Galaxy brand and it sells better than just the A and a number effort. So Samsung wanted people to get it. We don't know when they're getting released. We don't know where they're getting released. We don't even know their price yet. So all of this stuff is up in the air, but they seem fine to me after using them for just a few minutes. Look, they might just be parts bin phones, but if the parts are good, who cares? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. We're obviously here at CES 2020. We obviously have a ton of stuff going on, so keep it locked to The Verge to see all our new gadgets.